let's talk about opening the third eye. So you may have seen a ton of videos of people trying to tell you how to open your third eye. And I think I can give you a better perspective on what to do based on where I am in my research. So let's get into it. First of all, I want you to stop focusing here. If you are really putting pressure here, you're going to start having a headache and it's not where the center of energy is. It's like further away. So you need to focus back here and know where the pineal gland is. We call this the cave of Brahma. If you think of it as being a space where there is electricity and crystals, and that is our antenna, we are trying to decalcify this place and open it. If you are not familiar with chakra work, you need to know how to open your chakras to open your third eye. And it should not be the first chakra that you even attempt to open because one, it's not going to work if your other chakras aren't aligned well, or it's going to be terrifying. And two, it's going to be much easier if your throat chakra is open and your crown chakra is open because they're channels. Okay. So the energy is here and pushing up. This energy is here and pushing up and pushing down. And if these are blocked, there could be too much energy here or not enough energy here. Okay. Again, when you are focusing on, um, opening the third eye, what you are focusing on is opening up and balancing the left side and the right side of the brain. When you do this and you can literally do this like this, there's a, free energy course on my website to teach you how to do like the face Reiki. That is one of the best benefits of it. It aligns these two sides of the brain and you almost feel like a click or an opening that happens in the center cave. Okay. Um, you really want to make sure that when you are focusing here, it's not a force but you kind of want to see where it is. And no matter who you are, sometimes it'll be more closed. Sometimes it'd be more open, um, depending on what your needs are for the moment. I definitely notice, um, you know, if I'm feeling a lot more grounded and a lot more, um, if I'm in a meditative state, it's going to be open all day versus if I'm rushing around and I'm stressed, it's not going to be as open, right? Uh, make sure that you are if it feels like a tingle, a tightness, a uh, muscle, it is just like a muscle and you have to work it open over time. You will start to get confirmations within your visualization panel as you do this. See the video about all the ways to confirm that your third eye is open. But really, you just want to focus on making sure that this energy is balanced all around your head. Okay. Especially even back here. So doing the energy work is going to make sure that you clear this this channel so that you can, um, not only get a clearer view of whatever energy that you will see, um, it will be a more aligned view, um, not necessarily so bipolar or, uh, polarized. Now, when it does come to finally focusing on the brow area, the only times I ever do this is if I'm doing yoga and it's usually Kundalini yoga that asks you to keep your eyes closed and then look up through the brow. Those are the times that I will use that technique, but on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if I'm doing energy work, I'm focused on the whole head, not just the points of contact because energy is, uh, the more that I can increase the frequency here, the more power I've got like a movie screen. Okay. So these are my best tips and tricks on how to open the third eye. Um, it's less about trying to keep it open as you accelerate your energy field and you learn more about your spiritual practice. It's going to happen anyway, and you'll just start noticing it and you'll start aligning your attention with it, which is why you might be here. So be graceful with, graceful with yourself and have fun with it. Um, don't take it too seriously and experiment and play. Thank you very much for listening. I'm Candace with Lulubi Skincare. I hope you have a fabulous day.